speak Ojibwa, they don't speak Cherokee, they don't speak Shawnee, they don't speak Navajo, they don't speak Pueblo, they don't speak Apache. Um, it's kind of uh, fascinating for them to talk about uh, people needing to go to go home, go back where they came from when most of the people that they're complaining about going back are people whose ancestors were here for 40,000 years. It's just, man, it's just disrespect. Well, we don't take it as disrespect. It's just pure ignorance that we have to come speak against the ignorance because we don't understand how they're going to worship the hate, man. It's, it's, we don't understand hate. We don't understand how you're going to worship Hitler. The man who was, yeah, it's 2012. 2012. Get over it, man. Hitler, Hitler committed suicide. You're going to follow, man. You talk about your principles. That represents none of your principles. Right. Hey, just get with the program, man. It's over. The racism is over. Let's just get the with the program. It's over. How about in the wake of Trayvon Martin's and, killing? Look, it's man. Not, it's not even, it's not about, even about, about that. Trayvon, it's not even it's beyond that. It's beyond that. It's deeper than Trayvon Martin. We just, we out here to protest against all the hatred and the evil, man. We don't understand that. And you want to represent, Trayvon you want to represent a nation, you want to represent, I don't understand that shit. They, y'all, y'all came over and took, this, took it from the Indians and stuff, man, and then y'all want to kidnap all the black people? Hey, let's go. Man, I don't and this rest in peace of Trayvon Martin and everybody has been murdered over ignorance. Thank y'all. Yeah, yeah. The fun part you is, fool, man, but you the United States up. Border Patrol also cooperates with the National Socialist Movement and the Ku Klux Klan to sorry, I'm pursue, to apprehend, and deport illegal aliens. Isn't that amazing? The U.S. government 
I, I was uh, born in this country. I'm a 10th generation American. 10th generation. I can trace my ancestry back to the United States uh, to 1732. It's what you're doing. You're trying to cover it up. My uh, grandparents, my Oma and Opa, they survived World War II, and uh, they were both in the resistance. Of course, everybody claims to be in the resistance if you're German. It's kind of like the PC thing to do, um, but the, that's, the truth is, my Oma always told me, is that people like this succeed when no one stands up and says no. So I'm really proud that people from all backgrounds came out today and said no. And there are more of us than there were of them. I don't know who they were talking to, because all I saw were people who were opposing them. So that's that's it. That's all I got to say about that. I'm sorry, come back, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I really think that your sartorial prowess is to be admired. <laughs> You are from Louisville. Yes, from Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. So overall, just kind of your thoughts on uh, on really what we had here this this afternoon. Um, my thoughts is that most of us that we that I talked to, we came up and we came up to protest the neo-Nazi ideas. We don't want things like that to spread. Um, Kentucky already deals with a lot of segregation, a lot of issues around um, discrimination, um, issues around immigration, and, and so we don't need that added into our pool of, of social and societal problems. So. Being uh, as it may, and those issues that we have seen in the news, are you pretty pleased with the fact that there was more of you here than there were up there? Wow, yeah, it's Thunder Weekend, and that was my first thing, like, oh, it's Thunder Weekend, like, everybody's going to be in Louisville, but it, it really shows that people are committed to this work, that people came out, the weather's not the best, um, and, and I thought it was kind of odd that it was on a Saturday, that, that kind of took me back, but I, I really feel good, this is people's day to relax. And so the fact that people want to come up here and show how passionate they are for equality and racial justice is amazing. What do you think when you hear the things that they say, their messages of hate? I think a lot of it is just it's miseducation. Uh, I think a lot of it is sometimes people join bandwagons just because, because they think I have to identify this way. But there is other ways to identify. There's ways to see that we all have more commonalities than we have differences. And when you practice those type of ideas, ideology where you're breaking down religions and everything based on color and, and race and things like that, that just shows that you need help and you need more education and you need more love. Just last question, uh, do you think their numbers are dwindling and do you ever think there will be a point where there won't be a need to protest such things like that? I, that's the dream world I want to live in um, and that's why I do the work I do so that my children can live in that kind of space. But I think there'll be a need until we really deal with racism in this country the way we should there'll always be a need for us to stand up and, and us to stand together in unity. Actually, the fact that white people were here with black people, with Hispanic people, that shows that that's the way that we're going to have to stand because our country is turning colors whether people like it or not. And so we're going to have to get along and not just to show face in that way. So yeah, I think people need to know that we're, we're going to always come out in some form or fashion to stand against those kind of racist ideas. Anything you'd like to add? No, thank you for coming. All right. Thank you. I see you have a sign that says nerds against hate. Yes, it does. But there's all these 
zeros and ones on it. Yeah. What does that mean? It's binary. Um, they are a series, a sort of code that is often transcribed into ASCII letters, which are like A through Z, one through zero um, keys that we use on a keyboard. But um, these, the top, the blue lines um, spell F U C K. <laughs> and these spell Y O U exclamation point in binary. Fabulous. Yeah. Why did they say F U C K Y O U exclamation point? That's just a message I thought it would be good to impart to any neo Nazi or racist people um, that were viewing the sign. Awesome. Yes. Not directed towards any nerds who could actually read the binary. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> The U.S. political and corporate elite embraces uprisings when they're far from American soil. But when similar events take place at home, many Americans turn a blind eye. I'm a laugh and say oh. 